success in sub base, but just as essential, just as important are rotations. Spawning across the map can be so detrimental to any team, really, on a map like sub base. But we are diving right on in, like we said, Nichols College versus St. Clair. And I think we are in for a banger. I'm really excited about this series. Yeah, sub base, a pretty scrappy map. It's pretty easy to get put into a blender. But three go down already for Nichols College. St. Clair came out firing. Um, but as we see, CMG with a big kill top snow. Controlling that top of the map, but Nichols College picking up the initial time. Yeah, definitely. Nichols College doing a great job at making sure that they were focused on that time, even though they're not really winning a whole lot of gunfights here. St. Clair College definitely outslaying for the time being, but Cable making a big play with this early rotation 2p2 could make all the difference and could turn this around. Factions looking to make a play here, but Cable's going to shut them down. Pieces still holding on to that time, and... Right now, Nichols College looking to win this rotation, but Cable is going to get shut down. RTG coming in for a trade. Is he going to be able to do it? No, he's not. And St. Clair College are able to win this rotation over to PC so far. Yeah, some spawns came in across the map for Nichols on the rotation. Really just making it difficult. But at, as I say that, they do break in to go down. And Asonics will be taking this bottom secret position. Good position to... Uh, good power position, even though it's pretty low. But trades come in, and St. Clair breaks back into the hill. Now we're going to have to start preparing for this rotation for P3. Uh, these new rotations do make rotations even more important than they were before, and St. Clair's just finding all the time. RTG last alive. Uh, four nickels hitting gold. And as I say that, Siri finds a big two, but they are able to break in, and they will get the scrap time, but it looks... They also got the spawns for new. Three players for St. Clair around new, but Cable is in the back on rotation. Yeah, and unfortunately he does fall Siri, taking him down, and that's going to make it a really nice rotation for St. Clair again as they look to extend their lead here. And you see members of Nickel College just trying to set up that pinch, but that's RTG getting taken down from up top, and it really looks like St. Clair is in a great position to hold here. Two members of Nickel College pushing from that water side. Siri drops down to try to offer that assistance to Sonics. It's all up to you. He does read the rotation from Pieces there, but Pieces takes him out. And St. Clair College keeps his time ticking in their favor. RTG jumps off the top ropes just to throw his life away. And now with 25 seconds left on the clock, I really want to see Nickel Star College start to rotate on over as a big two-piece comes in from K Frost to lock down the scrap time. Yeah, and it does look like the initial rotation is favoring Nichols, uh, but right there we saw St. Clair do a nice job of keeping top snow control as long as they could. Uh, it's so easy to pick players off. As I say that, Nichols finding all the kills on new CMG going on a flank. GMG. He is or on a GMG. flank, but he's also on a four kill spree, looking to secure a streak for his team here. He finds a Sonic for five. Is he going to be able to find the six? Doesn't see K Frost up on that top AC position as well. And that is going to cost him that streak and the flank as St. Clair College is now trying to just make their way onto this point and not give Nichols too much time here. But Nichols looking to potentially, I mean, make this a very close game. RTG on the point does find pieces there trying to push through Maze. The Sonics still up on that top AC position and St. Clair does jump into the hill breaks in but asonics is there for the trade factions comes in for an immediate trade finds rtg in the back as well and once again the scrap time is going to go to st Clair. yeah and factions reading the spawn knows they're going to be spawning in the back just trying to keep them off the scrap time and put the pressure on on new um as long as they're spawning back there it's a win for st Clair. but as i say that to go down for st Clair. Nichols on the initial time pieces needs to, needs to break in and does but now the warehouse spawns coming in four go down for Nichols so now St. Clair looking to gain some time pretty solid hold on the last four Nichols yeah but it doesn't look like they read the spawn right I mean they broke in and they were still watching that p2 they weren't aware that Nichols College were spawning back to five but Faction's doing a great job at holding them off still he does lose that gunfight 2k from Siri finds the Sonics as pieces is just hanging out on the hill, but they do both fall as Nickel College 
are able to break in momentarily, but Cable has two to deal with, can't take them down. GMG now looking to contest, finds RTG, takes him down, knows there's one more on hill, pulls out the pistol. Bots of Sonic's pushing into P2, Faction's gonna finish that off as Pieces finds Zika Hill as well. Three down for Nichols College, and St. Clair looking to win the rotation for P1. Yeah, through one rotation, about an 80-point lead. Uh, player to watch, Siri, having a really solid start to this series. Uh, just finding all the kills, pistol, MCW, whatever. Finding all the kills, but we will see K-Frost trying to work a flank. Pieces finds one, but K-Frost in that position, able to find and get them off time, but traded out immediately by GMG. Warehouse spawns coming in for Nichols, and... Really, St. Clair is doing a nice job of just building the lead and denying time. As GMG finds one, traded out by k -Frost. 20 seconds left on P1, and the P2 rotation looks to be favoring St. Clair. Three players already on new, one at old. Yeah, and absolutely, just... and Siri holding down old, but GMG went on an eight kill streak there. He definitely has that cruise missile to play with moving forward, and but... I mean, I don't even know if they need it. Like you said, they are all set up here on P2. K Frost does find a huge two piece, but he's traded out by Siri in mid. But that trade does come through immediately. GMG on this time now. And they are they can absolutely win it here if they hold this down perfectly. But this was a very scrappy hill last rotation. A Sonic's able No, a Sonic's doesn't find one. Cable does, but GMG Siri respectively finding kills cable trying to hit through the bottom but he's taken down by siri siri has been on fire this entire map 22 and 10 from him right now they cannot win it here anymore we are going to see at least another p3 but st Clair college just absolutely dominating here on the sub base yeah and it's easy to look at the slaying and say it was just the slaying as Nichols is going to deny the time and pick up the scrap, but rotation's in for St. Clair. But St. Clair has been finding these kills because they're in the rotation, able to get set up, posted up. K-Frost wins one on new, but Pieces finds a player coming through tunnel. But when you're set up this well, you can kind of put the other team in a blender. You know where spawns are coming in, and all they need is 25 seconds to win it here. GMG calls in a streak, able to find RTG. Holding this top snow position is so critical as it just denies the team trying to break in from being able to get that control. Siri continues to be on a tear, and in 10 seconds, we could see St. Clair winning this. Siri, a <laughs> little bit of friendly fire, wins a tough gunfight. Three go down, and this should be it for map one for St. Clair College. Yeah, this is over. St. Clair College taking it 250 to 73. Just a phenomenal performance out of them. Everybody came out, come out swing, coming out swinging. Um, and everybody had their big moments, right? I mean, Pieces was really holding down that time. Factions had some big kills. GMG went on that big straight streak. And, I mean, Siri just never let off the gas. 24 and 12, but GMG 26 and seven just a fantastic showing all around everybody doing what they needed to do winning those rotations playing the top of the map like we talked about in the beginning and it was just a fantastic showing they outslayed and they out rotated and that's why they were successful on sub base
and welcome back, everybody. We are here. St. Clair's College versus Nichols College. St. Clair's currently up 1-0 after a dominating performance in that sub-base hard point. What do you feel Nichols has to do to jump back in in the search and destroy season? Honestly, they just need to find the teamwork, uh, team trail things. The slaying wasn't there the first map. So their best bet, uh, isolate some players, take some team shots, play it slow, get that first blood. And really, first blood is critical in any SND as Siri finds it. Siri had a very, very solid map one. So that first blood, and I might know that bomb's down. Um, but yeah, Siri just killing everything in these first two maps. Yeah, Pieces does get the assist and the cleanup there on Cable. GMG was definitely in trouble, but he avoids detection once again as St. Clair College with the perfect round one to take the lead here in map two. I mean, it was just a textbook performance on defense there. They really just read them. They picked them off one by one, and it was just... I mean, it was a masterclass, really. <laughs> you couldn't have asked for a better defense. Yeah, I believe Siri and Pieces... Did Yes, they did both find two kills, I guess. I didn't see that Siri drop, but near flawless round and getting on the horde. Offense, a little bit tricky. Uh, if you're able to win the slaying like they have been, definitely offenses can be won. It's just defense is able to post up, so finding that first blood so critical here. And PMG continues to fry. Yeah, Siri pushing up with that bomb in hand, though. He is going to flank through bridge that kill does come through rtg is taken down as he spots siri with that bomb and that's going to open it up for siri to come and get this bomb planted k frost goes down and it's all up to a sonics now left in a 1v4 bomb is going down right now it is planted now 42 seconds left on the clock a sonics does spot pieces takes him down trying to back up here trying to reposition a bit but you see he is just surrounded by a sea of red trying to reposition now gets caught coming out of that bottom church area and st Clair college wins an offense as well back-to-back -back rounds out of them to take the 2-0 lead yeah fantastic positioning in the 2v1 not lining up to get two piece but able to get the trade playing close together and they didn't have to find the trade but just a really solid offense, getting that first blood, getting control of bomb site, getting the plant down, and clearing all of the power positions. Uh, looking really good here for St. Clair through two rounds. GMG on a three streak, uh, just off to a great start as they start this round three defense. Yeah, it's looking like another B hit for Nichols College. GMG throws that nade, but it doesn't seem to connect anywhere. Siri with another big first blood taking down a Sonics. And RTG wanting to push up with the bomb, but just waiting for his teammates to get some info here. GMG does find Cable spots. I believe that's RTG as well. K-Frost is able to take him down, though. Siri comes in for the final kills as St. Clair College are just looking unstoppable right now. Yeah, all of the kills going to St. Clair, and these rounds going pretty quickly. Um, once that first blood happens and you're on offense, tendency is to turtle up, and... St. Clair continuing to apply the pressure. They know that the trade is there if a player drops and they will still have a an advantage. So great teamwork there. Uh, the team shots and the callouts seem on point from what we are seeing. But now another offensive round as Nichols looks to get on the board. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, St. Clair College, you can just tell they're playing with confidence, right? Nichols playing much more reserved, definitely not really sure how they want to play it there's not a whole lot of teamwork coming through either but a sonics gets a big first blood they're taking out gmg and finds factions while he's looking for the trade so just a fantastic start to the round for nichols college as they look to get on the board here but they still have siri and pieces to worry about and pieces does find a sonic shuts down that slaying power but now siri left in a 1v3 he does have bomb in hand so he doesn't have to go looking for it so i mean there's there's a bright side there, but he does have three people on the map to worry about. Tries to get through the door. He is taken down as Nichols College finally find themselves on the board. Yeah, fantastic round there for Nichols. Finding a first blood and the two-piece, and then the wall bangs came in. Must have been a call-out. Good communication there as K-Frost finds another, but 
that first blood is so critical in search and destroy you're able to play around that once you have the advantage you can hit something out or get a little bit more aggressive on defense but back to offense nickels not able to get much going on offense so need to change something if they want to get back into this map st Clair still on defense yeah, you said they need to change something, and they're changing their side of preference, so we are going to see our first A hit here in map 2, but Factions with the big first blood taking down RTG, and that is bombed down for Nichols College, but Cable is going to be there for the trade taking down Faction, that's going to make it a 3v3 tied up in lives here, as RTG does grab that bomb, still trying to make their way through this bottom red area, still looking to push up on to this bomb, but Cable does fall and that is going to be bombed down once again for Nichols College as they are now in a 2v3. Asonic's just playing his life here in mid L and it looks like K-Frost is backed up to watch that flank. Pieces is spotted there but Asonic's has given away his position as well. Siri takes him down and now it is all up to K-Frost left in the 1v3. Yeah, K-Frost has some good positioning. Definitely a place on the map you want to be. Not in the position you want to be but does spot does spot GMG, able to take GMG down, get it to the 1v2, no trade comes in. Only 16 seconds to work with, and needs to plant. Pieces just playing that that uh, B control position, and should be able to check for the plant and deny it. If not, the kill should come in soon, and the crossfire is there as St. Clair wins the round to take a 4-1 lead. Yeah, just a really strong defensive push there. They were able to read the A hit very quickly, um, and, you know, they worked their way back to A very quickly. And they just, they had the setups, they won their gunfights, and you can't really ask for more than that coming from a defense. You just have to hold, you have to make sure that they can't get that bomb down. And St. Clair did a, Saint Clair did a fantastic job there, and now we have Siri on a two kill streak, finding to that round. And he's going to be the bomb carrier for St. Clair. And we'll see if we're going to see another B hit here. Or... It looks like a 2-2 two -two split. They're playing 2 mid to A. Siri able to find K-Frost. Gets quite a few shots into RTG as well, who does take down GMG. But Siri's going to be able to get that trade. Asonic's in hot water, trying to run away. But Factions is going to take him down, and that's going to leave it all up to Cable. Last alive, running right into Siri. Does spot him. Great timing. Hits him with that pistol, unable to finish the kill. And Siri able to get away with his life, just trying to regen. Cable does find one on the flank. He's going to try to run up these stairs. I'm sure this was calmed, but that bomb does get planted, and he now has 40 seconds on the clock to find two kills and get that bomb defused. Yeah, Siri playing their life was big there, able to stay on that four streak. I'm not sure that Cable saw the leg bottom bridge. Both players playing bridge, and just a tough gunfight coming in. Nade connects from Siri and Factions cleans it up. It just seems like every time there's a gunfight going down, St. Clair has two players there, gets a few shots into one, and as the Nichols player tries to escape, there's another player on that crossfire able to shut down that uh, Nichols player and just refuse to allow anyone to slip by. Yeah, absolutely. Like we said, I mean, the teamwork is definitely coming through for the side of St. Clair. Um, they're, they're team shooting, they're moving together, they're navigating the map together, and that's what you need to be successful in a team-based ga game. In, an, in any team-based setting, you need that teamwork, and it's definitely shining through for St. Clair College right now. Nichols College trying to find themselves another round here, as it is map point for St. Clair College. Faction's just playing his life here in bottom red. He, I'm sure he hears them moving around outside. Uh, Sonics is going to be the first blood as Siri takes him down. Siri now on five in a row looking for the streak. It may or may not come in handy. Factions gets a little overzealous, pushes out, finds one, gets shots into RTG, but RTG does take him down. GMG comes in for the trade and K-Frost now left in a 1v3 must-win situation. Yeah, I believe that was three, maybe four first bloods for Siri. Siri just leaving her on the map. K-Frost able to find some shots, but now position is known, and the kill comes through, and St. Clair will take our map, too. Yeah, this is just looking like a dominating performance out of St. Clair College. I mean, they won 
map one with a hundred point club, right? It was like two fifty to seventy three, I think. No, yes. maybe I'm yeah. It, it it was it was not close, and now a six one in S and D. It really makes me wonder what's in store for invasion control. Um, but that is going to be our map three invasion. So we are going to take a short break and get ready for that. I think we're going to have a host change. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with map three invasion control. All right, and we are back for map three, Invasion Control, as St. Clair has a 2-0 map count, looking to close things out here. I am joined by Avidity. Avidity, what is the key for Nichols to try and win this and get back into the series? 
I mean, first and foremost, they've got to win some gunfights, right? They have been getting heavily outslayed in the first two maps, but they also need to stack and focus on these objectives. They need to find some teamwork. They need to find some team stacks, some team shots. Whatever it takes, they just need to find some teamwork here in map three. Yeah, and this invasion control so heavily favored towards the defense, really, on offense. Most of the time, K-Frost finds two as they look to gain some gain some control of the map, but trying to find some kicks onto A and guarantee that round five defense, but trades coming in, St. Clair doing a nice job of just stabilizing, not allowing any pressure towards A, as Cable does hop on to B, takes down GMG, big gunfight win there as a as two players over by A right now, unfortunate team made from factions, factions does make up for it, finding two and will deplete the A site as we see the first tick come in at B for Nichols. Yeah, just Cable doing a great job at holding down this B site, waiting for his teammates to spawn up, get close, and offer the assistance. And now Peace is looking to push through, does touch that time, but Cable takes him down as well. Cable on four in a row, K-Frosh is playing that Overwatch as this triple stack does come in and B is completed and secured, and now they can just set their sights on to A as they sit pretty with a four, I'm sorry, a now two life count advantage. Yeah, the easy part's done for the offense. They completed that B cap. Now, finding that real estate, getting some kills, and taking control of the map is the difficult part. GMG with the beat down onto Cable, shutting down that streak as GMG will be able to read read the push through DVD. Looks like Nichols trying to push up through B Street, find some real estate. Cable does take down GMG as they can.